Alright guys, got another knife sharpening video. Figured I'd do this video here. This is my commercial account, some of their kitchen knives. Uh, had to send in my Edge Pro Professional back to Edge Pro for a an upgrade. Um, so I'm back to using the Edge, Edge Pro Apex. This is what I started sharpening on about uh, 10, 11 years ago. Um, still works fine. They've changed this model since I purchased this one slightly here and there. Um, overall, it's still a solid model. It's uh, really good for, for home use for sure. Um, got the chef's knife here. Um, this is a knife that is due to be thinned. I'm going to use the new 80 grit <coughs> diamond matrix stone from Edge Pro. Um, very, very aggressive stone, which is what you need for this. I'm going to knock down the shoulders here and thin this blade out. Um, I'm going to sharpen the but not sharpen. I'm going to thin it at roughly 15 degrees because I like to do my have my finishing edge at 21 degrees. Uh, I find that to be the optimal angle for most um, sharpening tasks in a kitchen. So I'm going to get to it. Um, I already got the edge marked up. I got the apex all set up and I'm going to go ahead and start thinning this blade out. I do apologize if I seem to be fumbling around with this with the Apex. It's been a long time since I've used it. I've had the Edge Pro Pro Professional now for, I don't know, three, four years now. I don't use a lot of pressure with the stone. You don't need a lot of pressure with it. It's uh, very aggressive, so it'll cut just fine with a lot of pressure. I'll make a couple of passes here on each side. I like to keep it wet, helps to keep it somewhat clean when I flip flop it back and forth to each side. Now, thinning a knife is very important. The more and more you sharpen a knife, the wider the secondary bevel will get, and it'll creep up into the thicker part of the blade, which will actually hinder the slicing capability of the knife. So you want to keep those shoulders knocked down when necessary. All right, making good progress here. Now you don't want to take this 80 grit all the way to the edge, all the way to the apex. Um, it's so aggressive you'll put some pretty good chips in the apex of the blade if you take it that far. Kind of want to stop before you get to that point. Um, a Sharpie marker is your best friend when you're finding your, your angle and seeing how far down the bevel you're going. I'm just going to keep going on each side until I get it to the point to where I want it to be. It's so awkward using this Apex now after using that professional for so long. Not quite there yet, getting closer. Like I said, I want to keep this stone kind of wet. It doesn't soak up water, but it's good to keep the surface wet. It helps to keep the metal shavings from clogging up the diamonds. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I think the someone in the kitchen there at the restaurant, the bar, they're um, using something to sharpen this edge, and I'm not quite sure what it is. I don't know if it's a old-fashioned carbide sharpener, which got the two wheels, the carbide wheels, and it's ripping through it. So one side is definitely steeper angle than the other side. I know it's not for me because I'm. I keep the angles the same. I can tell by the scratch patterns here. Yeah, like this side here has got a lot more to go. As opposed to the other side. I try to tell the guys at the in the kitchen not to use butcher steels or those carbide pull-through sharpeners. They just cause more damage they do good. I recommend that they get a ceramic hone. <clears throat> I find they work, work the best. Um, they do a really good job at honing the edge. Alright, I'm almost there. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I just got done thinning the blade. I moved up to the 220 grit stone. Now I'm going to actually be sharpening the edge here at 21 degrees. Alternate strokes like I normally do. Alternate sides. All right, did two passes on each side. Let's see how my burr is feeling. This feels feels good. I right, got a consistent burr, full length of the edge. All right, I'm gonna continue sharpening. Be back in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back here. I decided to try to show you guys what I mean by thinning a blade. I know I was kind of confused when I um, first heard about it. And trying to get the concept down. Um, this is kind of a, I know there's a lot of lines and numbers on this drawing here, but I'll try to explain what I was, what I was talking about. Um, on this a chef's knife that I just got done doing, when I originally matched up to the bevel, it was right around 24 degrees, which is this right here, this outside lines right there. Um, that was roughly 24 degrees. Now the problem, when you resharpen a knife, you remove metal. So if your edge is way down here, per se, and the more you sharpen it, you remove metal, the further up into the spine that it goes. The higher that it goes, the wider this bevel gets, and the less sharp. You can get that edge as sharp as you can, um, but it's not going to cut well. Um, it'll be sharp and not cut because your shoulders here are going to prevent it from slicing through material with ease. Now, unless you got an axe or a chopper, um, now those, you want shoulders, because once the edge goes into the material you're chopping, 
this is going to push it apart. So you want that. It acts like a wedge. Now when I re when I thinned it, I went from 24 degrees down to 15 degrees, which is this year with my sharpening stone, it's just cutting away the metal. So all this material right in here has all been removed. So this here is going to knock down the shoulders, which is called thinning it. We're at 15 degrees, which is six degrees less than what I like it to be at. I think 21 degrees is, is a, uh, an optimal angle. So at 15 degrees, 15 degrees in each side. And then I came back and actually sharpened the knife at 21 degrees, as this line here illustrates right here. I know I'm not a very good artist, obviously. Uh, hopefully that makes sense as far as what I'm trying to explain. Um, moral of the story is you want your blade to be thin, but not too thin to where it breaks down easily. You got to find that happy median between being sharp, thin, but also durable. And that's why I like 21 degrees. All right, be right back with the finished product with that chef's knife. All right, guys, I'm back just to show you the finished product here of this chef knife. Um, this is the blade that I just got done thinning. Let's see if I can show you the different grinds here. That shiny part is my actual sharpened edge. That's the 21 degree angle. Let's see here. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to show up. I can see it with my eyes, but it's not gonna show up on the camera very good. Um, but anyway, and this knife here, I only went through a 650 grit. Um, in my experience, there is no need to go beyond that unless you're cutting proteins, like, you know, meat, sushi, fish, you know, whatever. Um, but just to show you that a 650 grit finish um, is very, very sharp and it's, it's durable. And it just slides right through the paper. tell it, it just, just keeps cutting anyway that's it until next time